about agrobotin system for a liquid democracy. Uh, agrobotin system, well, it comes from Partido Internet, a, a political. In okay, the the main idea of this political party is that the member of the parliament, or, or elected for this this party, uh, will vote the well the people vote over the internet. The, they work as proxy rep representatives, and they for doing this you don't need to, uh, to change any law. Um, also, the idea is behind this is liquid democracy, which is just like uh, direct democracy, but with delegation because you can't, you don't have time to vote everything that happens in the parliament. Okay. So, uh, the Partido Internet created this uh, this software, Agora Ciudadana, which of course has some requirements. First one is security. Of course, the voting system needs to be secure. Uh, but what does it, it, does it mean? It means that the vote must be secret. That's the first thing. The, you need to be sure that the, your ballot, your vote, will be correctly captured. And also, another of the requirements is that uh, we need to support massive elections. There are 45, 46 million people in Spain. And also, massive elections mean two things that there are also not many people, that, but a lot of votings a year, 7,000, in the Congress. So uh, the voting system needs to be uh, to support this kind of thing. And of course, the, the third thing that needs, needs to be supported as a requirement is vote delegation. So how the voting system that uh, we are creating, how, how does it work? Well, this is the pro voting process. First, we have the trustees, which, has, which are the people or the entities we trust our, the, the secrecy of our vote. These entities co could be uh, the United Nations, people, Greenpeace, or uh, political parties. So they should, <laughs> they, they should be of any, all kinds of organizations and people, so, because the system guarantees that only if all of them collaborate uh, to, and are corrupt, then your vote w won't be secret. So as it, it needs to be difficult to be <laughs> to this collaboration <laughs> for corrupting the voting to happen. And then for a voting, we need to generate a, a joint key. Each of these ent trustees generate a public and a private key. And afterwards, they publish uh, each, each own, they publish in the public key in the bulletin board. We're using Elios voting system for, for this. Elios is made by uh, Ben Adida and his colleagues in, in Harvard. He's a cryptographer. And then we have the delegates. Uh, as this voting system supports a delegation of the vote, the, these dele delegates need to publish, well, the delegates can, could be anyone, could be you, could be a political party or a, any person, or Slesic, or even an organization, and their vote must, must be made public before the election begins, so you know why you're going to vote if you delegate in these people. And then the voting starts, and you can either delegate your vote or you can directly vote. Uh, your ballot, when you vote over the internet, or your ballot will be encrypted by uh, using El Gamal, which is a standard way of encrypting uh, a vote or whatever. And then it will be signed. We used uh, electronic, uh, national electronic identification cards in Spain, uh, which use uh, standard protocols and they're, they, they're, they're working, it's is secure. And it will be signed with your signature, so the vote, which is encrypted so that no one will know what you really vote, uh, will be signed and everyone will know that that's your vote and not everyone else. And finally, when you send your ballot that you create in your computer, you, even without internet, in a computer with a live CD, if you want, uh, you send it over internet, uh, it's authenticated using the, your signature and cast by the server. Um, of course, published in the bulletin board so for everyone to see. 
And then the voting ends, and the tally begins. The trustees now start to work again, and the, the way it works, the voting system, is that each trustee shuffles the, the votes and re-encrypts the ballots so that the, the ballots are anonym, uh, anonymized. No one will know that this ballot was this other ballot because it's been re-encrypted re and, uh, and shuffled. This is what we call a mixed net. Each of the trustees do this process, collaborating, and in the end, when we have a list of ballots which are uh, shuffled and re-encrypted, no one will know which, which is which, uh, then we can decrypt the ballots. This, uh, this is also a work that is done by the trustees, doing uh, a decryption distributed and of the, and of the anonymized votes. And of course, the results must be published in the bulletin board. But you, you get the proofs of decryption, proof uh, of the of the shuffle that was correctly done, and the re-encryption, of course. So you can uh, warranty, even if the voting is corrupt, you know that you that that the the this process w worked or not, because the the mathematics behind this. Uh, warranted. Verificatum is the system that we use for all these uh, mathematically complex uh, processes. And this is done by people from, from cryptographers. This software is done by cryptographers from, from Switzerland. And these proofs I have mentioned earlier uh, provide, as I said, uh, universal verifiability. So even if the voting is corrupt, you will know it. Maybe uh, your vote will be uh, will be known. It will be secret, secret because all the trustees uh, are corrupt. But you will know that the voting is corrupt. And this is uh, serious stuff. We we have a paper painting because uh, there are a lot of secure voting systems. People don't know this, but it's uh, it's true. There are a lot of secure voting systems, but they don't provide the delegation. And we are we are creating in this in this project a paper uh, that we are going to to present as soon as possible for that that provides this this delegation and of course this kind of thing is funding but we're onto that we are, we are trying to create a foundation for liquid democracy uh, of course this voting system when it's finished which we are working on. We can be used anywhere. We can be used in universities and colleagues, uh, even in, in companies to vote uh, whatever you want, actually. And Elias voting system from Harvard that we are going to use uh, together with, with Verificanon has been used, used already in universities for voting directors in France and I don't know what are other places. The status of the project, uh, well, we've been working in the delegation method, which is really the most difficult thing uh, since the 2009. And now we have a clear path. We want to use uh, Elias and Verificatum, which is the fastest uh, software for, for processing the votes. And we're doing just that, and also integrating the authentication in Elias for the DNA. So, well, if you are interested or want to join us, this is our web page, and you can contact me via my email. So, if there are any questions or Uh, how is it working? The, 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 the trustees. Well, the question is how. Uh, I don't know if I, I understood correctly how how the trust works actually. How. Mm -hmm. uh, are you providing that the technical solution to do that? 
of course, the soft, we provide the software. They can create their own if they want because they, there is a protocol. But we, we, we have to provide them a software to do the shuffle and the re-encryption and the decryption. Um, and they can use it or they can create their own software if they don't trust it or whatever. Um, and that's it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Con con No, no. The voting, the this, the the question is that 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 uh, I said that the trustees have to re-encrypt the the votes and shuffle them, and the question is uh, does does this re-encryption need to decrypt the vote to re-encrypt it? And the answer is no. The the El Gamal encryption permits uh, to re-encrypt. A boat, uh, or anything, a text without having to decrypt it. So you know that the the two text, the cipher text, contain the same the same the same thing inside, but you don't know what it is. Uh, no, actually no. You just decrypt the last one once, and uh, and it is decrypted. It's a, a property of the in, this encryption process. Uh, another question? Yeah. You said the, the work is still in progress. So when the, the third version will be uh, available? Uh, the question is, uh, when will this be available? Well, we don't know yet. We hope that uh, as soon as possible. We are working there. Uh, developers, we have uh, about uh, three developers at the moment. Um, the, the most difficult part was the the mathematics behind this, and now we just need to 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 take the these projects, uh, Elios voting and and verification and uh, authentication with uh, DNA and in bring them together. And we're working on that, and we hope that at the end of this year uh, we have something. We hope that. Another question. You, you pro the question is that uh, uh, does, does the piloting board contain who has votes and who hasn't? And the answer is yes. You, you, you publish your vote, you sign your vote, so everyone will know that you vote. You, they don't know what they, you vote. Even you might vote a uh, station, or it might be the vote might contain a delegation. But yes, yes. Any more questions? Okay. The question is how how can we? Well, th he said that uh, normally you want to know if the voting was done correctly or not. How do we do that? Well, uh, as I said, uh, we provide, uh, the trustees provide a proofs of what they've done. So you can check with these proofs that the process they did, which of course you cannot repeat because you are not the trustee, you don't have the private key that they do, uh, but you can check mathematically that they did it correctly. And it's a, a, a proof, a mathematical proof. It's and actually, the current voting system in most countries, they don't provide any kind of proof. You just need to trust that the process was right, but there is no mathematical proof of anything. Any more questions? Where? Uh, the question is that it would be most secure if we automated the trustees' uh, process, and the answer is well, you need a, 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 in the end you need a public and private keys, and who who is in charge of those those keys? You need someone. So, uh, if possible, I, I would do that, but 
we need someone in charge. So uh, the idea is that we put a lot of people in charge that are not going to collaborate to be corrupt. So the time is out, so thank you for coming.